Hello, my name is Diogo, I'm 24, I'm from Portugal, and today I'm going to tell you my story. In the summer of 2012, I left my country for the first time to do an interrail around Europe. I had a ticket for train for a month, and I started in Belgium, and I did all the way, the way is supposed to be all the way back to, to Portugal, and one month after, in Italy, the ticket expires. So from then, I learned how to hitchhike for the first time with an Australian guy, and I hitchhiked back home and the experience was really interesting. So interesting that when I came home, uh, I have the feeling that things changed, that people changed, that my friends were different, the school was different, my perspective of the world was different, and somehow I didn't feel like belonging there. So I realized that traveling was actually the way to go. And in my last year, I was studying psychology in third year of bachelor, so I decided to study abroad and do my last bachelor here in Malaga in Spain. That's when I left. And since then I didn't come back home. Often people ask me how do I have money, how can I travel for so long since it's go over three years. Well, that's easy. I hitchhike, I camp, so I don't pay neither for accommodation or for transportation. And most of my work is volunteer. I help someone who helps me. I work with gardening, I, I build stages in festivals, I was helping building two houses both in Turkey and in Austria, two natural straw bale houses, so I keep myself moving like this so I don't spend so much money. And to be honest, in three years I only had two paid jobs, one in Vienna washing dishes and another one that just finished two weeks ago, I was building a natural house here in Germany, I've been paid for that. Amazing, be paid for what you love. What is natural building? Natural building is the concept of building houses with mainly natural resources. Over the years, there were many different kinds of natural houses being built by different countries, different areas of the world, such as straw bale houses, which have, which have walls made of straw, bale, straw bales, uh, adobes, they use bricks as adobe, or clay houses, or um, or rammed earth, a wide variety of different kind of houses. The one I want to learn is called Super Adobe. That's the one I want to study in California. My experience with the two, with the two houses I was building both in Turkey and, and in Vienna and in Germany as well, actually three, they were straw bale houses. So for that reason I start to realize that that's not actually the technique that suits me best, but yes, the Super Adobe which is the one taught in California. The concept of these natural houses filling bags with the earth that you collect directly in the place where you live in. So you have much more flexibility of resources, still nature, you can create a better shape for the house, much more organic, much more in connection with the, with the surroundings and with the nature around you, and it gives a very comfortable way of living. For that reason, I need 5,000 euros to study the course uh, in, in America and I only have 4,000 which doesn't allow me to pay the visas, the flights, the living costs there and, and the course itself so that's why I'm applying for this fundraising and interesting the, the architect who developed this concept of Super Adobe inspired himself a lot in Rumi, a poet from Iran and he had a very beautiful quote Earth turns into gold in the hands of the wise